Now, at this stage, every Thursday morning, we look at the latest best-selling business and management book titles with the guys from BookBuzz. And Alan Jordan, sales director of BookBuzz, is with me in studio. Alan, very good morning to you. Really, really good book this morning. A strategy book by Max McKeown. Uh, why we're all so brilliant thinkers. Yeah, um, a good read, uh, In I think you and I cope with from a period whereby we'd be going into a library or a bookshop and you go down and see publications by Prentice Hall or FT on strategy. And they're usually measured by not the number of pages, but how wide they were, about four inches thick. And before you even picked up the book, you figured you had to go to university or have an MBA. And I think what Max McKeown has done is he's tried to really break down a lot of the waffle and uh, get stuck into what strategy is. And what are the simple things you can do as a business owner to inculcate it into your business? you got to think more. Yeah, and we kind of love this part because as uh, Max highlights it, look, there are forever tons of methods. There's all sorts of ideas, things waiting to discover new opportunities. But you've got to create uh, room and slack for thinking. So um, the layer of the book is it's, it's really well laid out because he does say, look, you, you do need to have some type of understanding of strategy and the tactical tools that you would use. So, for example, you will find reference to a toolkit in here that has Porter's Five Forces, McKinsey's 7S framework, uh, the balance scorecard, uh, all sorts of good stuff. But it really does getting down to, look, do you understand how to think? And you know what, Ian? It's very similar to a book we did before, The Strategist by Cynthia Montgomery. And she asked the question, does your company matter? So do you know what, within the strategy book, it's the questions that it asks and the way it gets you to think that's the power of the book. But there are people out there in large companies and small companies will say, look, I don't have time to sit down and think, where do I take this business? Where do I take my employees? They just have too much, too much time running their business. Yeah, and this is the problem because if, if you don't make that time, you're not going to get uh, a clear strategy. Do you know what was interesting? Uh, Ron is doing a, a lot of work with startups, both on strategy and innovation. And do you know what, Ian? There's a huge crossover between both because in innovation, you know, we've done a couple of books on innovation before and it talks about experimenting, observing, asking questions. And strategy is very similar. And in actual fact, what a lot of the strategy books are now talking about is actually the, the, the strategist and how important it is to get your people to go along with you. In that book we did before, the strategist, they did a Gallup poll where it showed that less than 50% of the people are actually engaged with their business. And this goes back to the old, often used quote is that culture eats strategy for lunch every day. So a big part of the strategy book is how to get people to go along with your ideas, with your plan, with your vision. And the only way you can do that is that you've got to really give it some thought. Or you tell them they're going to get fired if they don't. (laughs) <laughs> that's, well, that's right. That's a different type. That's usually one of those banking books that you love reading about. Uh, and we know also from um, books that we've done on predatory thinking and critical thinking that the biases that we bring into situations clouds our judgment and actually gets us down a particular path that's not right for the business. And remember the book we did about two weeks ago on the three rules of success where companies, where the Deloitte consultants, 30,000 companies, they said, look, there was two, two, three rules to focus on. One is better before cheaper uh, and the other one was also revenue before cost and there are no other rules and if you get the focus right in your business the strategy becomes a bit clearer but you've got to give yourself some time to think about it. Isn't the trouble though that if you start spending a huge amount of time planning and planning and planning how to run your company how to run your business suddenly in the meantime you find you're neglecting your business and you're thinking all these blue skies thinking about how I'm going to manage this organisation better. Yeah and that's why um, this book uh, if you look at those like the three three strategies of war Sun Tzu the art of war the strategy is saying strategy is it's it's, it's alive. It's not where you go off for the think tank and we produce this document that sits up. You've got to make it live and breathe within your organisation. And that's what I like about it because it, it, it simplifies it. Yes, there are tools and toolkits that you need to know and understand. But you know what? A lot of us have been doing strategy all our lives. How we go to college, university, our first job, mapping out our careers. We're doing it. We just we don't call it strategy. One of the great examples in it is how IKEA got it right. Yeah, it is. And IKEA really is kind of dealing with a series of unplanned events and there's a great quote from Churchill which says however beautiful the strategy you should occasionally look at the results so there's tons of examples to show how strategy is in many ways is dealing with unplanned events and having the flexibility in your organisation to come up with different ideas to make room and allowances for mavericks for naysayers because they are actually what will drive the chances for you to improve to outcompete against the competition
what happens when the strategy goes wrong? Well, as you and I know, sometimes uh, the leader goes off and takes an early bath and sometimes he just hangs on and, and waits until he's pushed. <laughs> Alan Jordan, Sales Director of Book Buzz. Thank you very much for coming in. This morning's book, really, really good one. The Strategy Book by Max McKeown. Really worth having a look at it if you can get your hands on it. Up 